Let's go to the beach, beach, let's go get away. Hey, hey, we're gonna go for potentially the first one of the summer today. That didn't happen. You'll see what happens, but even though what I had planned didn't happen, it was still a pretty cool day. I don't know. So I'm living in Germany now, which has no beaches. I, I actually think that it's like basically a completely landlocked country. And I come from a country that is basically just an island. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand, so I'm used to beaches. Anyway, I haven't really been swimming. Even when I was living in New Zealand during summer, I don't think I swam once, which is probably why they kicked me out. But I was invited to go swimming i mean if it's too cold might not but i mean it's supposed to get to 26 degrees today which is like the hottest that it gets in peak summer in new zealand and we're only just in the very beginning of summer where i live so we are in our full get ups we've got on a uh this is an, a beach essential or a swim essential because there's no beaches it's, i think it's like a, a lake or a watering hole or something i don't know you need one of these guys and i have this thing on my swimsuit ah uh, there's another part of the swimsuit too and some shorts and then you also need a bag okay you need a bag if you're gonna go to the beach for a swim it's the only bag that i can think of that's good so you need glasses, sunglasses. A wallet is a good idea. I'm gonna bring this because it's my book. This in case I get sweaty and smell bad. It's like a perfumey thing. Deodorant is a good idea. What else is a good idea? Probably my eye drops. Probably a spoon and probably some hand cream and a rubber band. Can't You can't really go wrong with that. So we'll put those in there. You also need a lip balm. A towel is honestly probably the most important thing that you need to bring if you're going for a swim. Problem is, I don't know what towel I can use, so because this isn't my house, really. So I've messaged, but I'm not sure. You need a hat, sunglasses, tissues, another lip balm because why not? And then some keys because you need to be able to get back inside your house. That's also important. You don't want to lock yourself out. I mean, I've locked myself out once and it also happened to be on another day that I was filming. It's fun and exciting stuff happens when I'm filming. And today is gonna to be a good day. If you watched my last like vlog video, is me and my sister basically just talking about breaking the habit of being ourselves and also going shopping. It's what the title of the video is and it's also what it is. So it's like the opposite of clickbait. Anyway, I'm still making my way through the book and I'm still trying to prioritize and put into place the things that Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about because I am dedicated to breaking the habit of being myself or just like taking control over the fact that, you know, I'm the only one that has control over my life and I'm the only one that can make a difference if there's things that i don't like about my life or things that i don't want you're right my dog is staring at the wall again hope she's all right um but i'm the only one that that has control over my life so i'm the only one that can change it so that's what i'm trying to do so this video i actually wasn't intending on filming today i just charged my camera battery battery because i was like i want to take instagram photos i decided that i'm just going to bring my camera and see what happens so that's what I'm gonna do today. And I've just packed my bag, fast as. I have a wood bottle and an apple as well, and we need to find a towel. But I'm not sure if this is going to be a talking video or if it's just going to be me talking now. Either way, it's gonna be aesthetic, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fresh, and we're gonna have a good time. So come along with me whilst we go and potentially go swimming, because I don't know what's going to happen, but we're gonna see. Oh, and also, of course my twin sister is coming. <laughs> And guess who's going? I'm going to stay with my twin sister tomorrow as well. Nothing today went as planned, but I learned that maybe we shouldn't plan everything all the time. Sometimes we should just see what happens. And that's what I did this day. More on that soon. You're so pretty. Sup, bitch? Hey. Hey. <laughs> We're matching top. And look, my matching swimsuit. We're waiting for our friend, but when we sat down at the chair, someone forgot their strawberries. Yeah. Someone forgot strawberries. I'm worried, what if they're like, remember when there was that epidemic where people were putting needles and strawberries and fruit and stuff? So we, we might just leave them there. Should I Google what strawberries means for actually? I went into this day with not much planned. There was the idea of going swimming, but it wasn't really set in stone. In the past, I've planned every single part of my routine and my life. I always pictured what I would go about doing next. For example, I pictured what I would have for lunch when I was eating breakfast. I visualized myself driving home from work when I was driving to work. This is all good and great, but I've realized that whilst doing this, I was secretly hoping for things in my life to change. I was wondering why nothing in my life felt special or exciting or new. The reason for this is because I was creating every day the same. 
There's a thunderstorm warning. In these moments, I was creating the future based on what I had experienced in the past. I left no room for anything new or exciting to happen, and as a result, nothing new or exciting did happen. So what is different about this day that you're watching right now? So that morning, I meditated, and I realized that I should just try my best to see where the day takes me. The reason why I did this is because I want things in my life to change. I want my goals to manifest. So with them in mind, of intentionally focusing on feeling good and on what I want my future to look like instead of living in the past. So my little experiment for well, this day, which is yesterday for me today, was seeing where the day would take me and it ended up being a really good day. I spent the day with some friends and I saw some amazing things. There was a spontaneous thunderstorm, but this time I was dry, which didn't happen to me another time. I got some free strawberries, had a nice coffee, had some ice cream, and just walked around, and it was very beautiful. Moral of the story is, if anyone watching this feels stuck, or like life is a little bit bland, you should totally go and try out seeing where life takes you that day. I'm aware that in life we have responsibilities. Maybe not every day could be as cool as this day was, but I'm still going to embrace every day like this, simply because I want to just see what happens, and you could totally try it too.